I'm Sonia Fitzpatrick, and I know how difficult it is to say goodbye to your pet. I have made this video a guide to helping you get through your bereavement, because I know it's going to give you great comfort and understanding of where your pet has gone. The most difficult decision we have, and that we're wondering to ourselves, when is the best time to put my animal down? It knows its mum and dad are there, and if your family are with you too, and friends often get very fond of our animals as well. So make sure that all of them come to see him before he goes on to his wonderful journey. What happens after their body lies there? They step out of it. The body is dead, but the energy body steps right out of that physical body. Now your animal is no longer with you. That's what you feel. And the big, big part and the most painful part is the grieving. When an animal has passed, sometimes you'll see the characteristics of the animals that's passed already in one of your other animals. Well, that's because the animal, certain traits that you know that animal does that none of the animals do. Oh no, he wouldn't have wanted me to have a lot, another dog and I feel that I'm betraying him. I have to remind people that animals don't think like people. They love us, they want us to have another dog. And if you don't get another dog or a cat, how can the animal reincarnate and come back to you if it wants to? Mm -hmm. 